Are you trying to figure out how to build a website on your own instead of paying someone arm and a leg to do that? Well, the good news is you can do this. I mean, rule of thumb is you either pay someone else to do it or you do it yourself. If you have time to put into it and energy to learn, then you can figure it out and I'll show you how to create a basic website in this short video. And you are super right because online search is essential. As of right now, Google marketing, Google search is dominant marketing. This is how people get the most of the leads. Soon enough, AI might take over and then we might need to figure out how to be on top of the AI results. But before we had yellow pages and mailers and etc., and those are inefficient or not as good as generating ROI anymore. When I started, I had time and that's what I had pretty much and the energy to succeed and desire to succeed and energy to learn, but I didn't have money to pay. And what I had utilized back then is CMS which is content management software and my good friend who's like brother Jose recommended me to do that. The need for this video comes from a comment on a social media which is did you pay someone else to create your website or did you do it yourself and I'm looking for a basic website that can accept payments as well as automatic scheduling for my cleaning company. When I built it I built it using Joomla and Joomla is and I'll share my screen in a second so you can see it but I'll tell you what's better now than Joomla to do this and you and I will be able to go on a back end of it and make some edits so you can see how instantaneous like instant literally the changes are nowadays and no coding is required let me show you the screen with Joomla and Joomla is a content management software but it's not the most popular one back then they were back to back with WordPress and nowadays I had actually switched all of my websites to WordPress and I'll show you why. Joomla has a lot of cool things with it built in and it still works. It's an open source community, which means a lot of coders and programmers contribute to it. So if we were to not use this nowadays, which because I moved all my sites to WordPress and for WordPress, the URL would be wordpress.com. So these websites that are here that you're seeing on a screen now are all have been created with WordPress. You can create a blog, you can create a newsletter with it, link bio, video commerce, and even online course. And I have done pretty much all of these. Nowadays, I outsource this work for someone else, but then if you're starting out, then you need to figure out how to do this. Registration, the best part, it is free, so you don't even have to pay for this. Keep scrolling down, and as you can see, the editing on this is literally like you editing on a Google Documents or Microsoft Word. You just drag and drop, and no coding is required. This is how you create this. Keep scrolling down, and this is where you can even see the URL names and they are at $12 at the moment of a recording of this video. This is where you want to do and to create this, right? You, you want to go and get started and create your username. I already have it. I just basically log into it. I'll show you how to make changes on it. So let's go to my basic personal website, which is very small and I'll show you how the changes are almost instantaneous in it. So when you come to ans.com, you'll see on top where it says ANS Impact. You see, this is ANS Impact, that's my URL. And I'll show you actually when you are incognito, then you won't see the top menu item. So when you're looking at it like this, you see you only see the website, you see how it works. And the, the entire this website has been built with including all these sign in, sign up and other forms using the WordPress. Once you're logged in, because in, in here I'm logged in, you can see like, mouse over and then you go to your dashboard and in dashboard you can start making changes. For example, let's pick one of the pages from my website. Um, let's say we're going to make some changes on a file. Let's open incognito. We're going to go here and let's say check out the product list, right? Let's make a changes in this. This is my Amazon link of cleaning chemicals that and equipment that I believe is pretty efficient with the links to Amazon. And as you can see, I set it up myself and it took me maybe 30 minutes once I knew where to click because there's always a little learning curve, but once you're over it, it's relatively intuitive. Let's see if we can change a menu where it says product list. I'm just gonna put it in a different screen and I'm going to find the menu and the menu would be under appearance if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there you go, menus. So I come here and here's the menu, right? We have home, my story, why me, let's connect resources and product lists. So if I click here, you can see it. Let's say I'm gonna name it product lists. So you just do S in the end, save the menu. So when you save it, then what I'm gonna do is grab this from here. 
and then you see what happened instantly product list become product lists I'm gonna put it away again I want to put it back how it is because I don't want my editors uh, the website developers get upset with me but I'll also show you how to embed the video for example as you can see in here I've got a video showing up and it's from YouTube so when you click on it directly it takes to YouTube link to the website and then below are the links the way I set this up is I'm gonna go to the pages because it's the page inside of my website that I'm customizing so I click here pages and then I go to all pages I could create immediately one and I know the name of this because it's product list remember so when I go to product list I can click on this and then I'll come up to this page which is completely editable and this is where I put the video over here like I can literally change anything where it says the bold I can do unbold right and then I can do bold if you're an Amazon associate program then this is great like you could literally use this and you don't need another website such as Linktree and etc because you can add photos remove content and etc it is literally as working Microsoft Word or Google Docs so I can remove this the the dot um, the bullet point I can bring it back from the top right here and then it just gets back and I can do colors like there's so many things that I can do because you see the bold italic and then linking so I could highlight this get this link and then insert the link and click enter and I'll just highlighted for me and this is how I did the video as well when I inserted the video I went to add media right over here and then I did the insert URL and from the URL what I did is I found this video you know how you go to a website and found the video on YouTube and then copy it I just play pasted it right here and then I saved it and then it got it literally here for me and then everything so when it's done you just want to click update and when it updates it just comes here on the same website you see where the product list and then I refreshed it and it already made itself product list so as you can see this is super cool we will also talk in just a minute how to incorporate the scheduling and the payment system but if you're getting a value from this video I'd really appreciate if you hit like and do the subscribe and thank you so much for doing that for me one of the cool things with wordpress what it does is it has a bunch of components that you can utilize and those components are scheduling components and or payment components for example in my case we do not automatically schedule the jobs because we have more moving parts but if you're a smaller company then you can link it literally you, you can find the component so right here under features when you come to wordpress themes so there's a bunch of themes you could literally some of them are free a bunch of them you will find free if it satisfies you you just download it and install it and you can literally start typing the content on this but at the same time you've got a blog portfolio depending what you want to do for cleaners this might be really cool to use a portfolio before and after photos for business and store right here you can literally set up a store so you can start buying and selling stuff there is usually a search there was a search for entertainment there you go you can search this and then I'm doing it as I'm talking so whatever time it takes me it should take you the same amount of time as well so if I want a scheduler scheduler so I just click on it and then oh I'm in themes so it's not in the themes it's the plugins so I'll go to plugins and then I want the scheduler oh there you go like I even didn't have to go it look features plugins and booking and scheduling so when you click on it so you've got WooCommerce booking, which is $25, $21 a month, but it also has free bookings as well. So you can sort them and review. So 402 people saying 4.3, that's pretty good. 470 people, a free is saying 4.6, and then here 4.8, 4.9 over 470 people. So these guys work and they are free. You just install them from here. I'm not gonna do it now, but the same way you can install the scheduler on your website already, you can, do the same for the receiving payment so when you go back for example plugins and then you want to start receiving payments so you can do payment and let's see what we're going to come up with shipping and payments paypal payments so you can receive them this these are from woocommerce but you don't need all of the woocommerce for example the reason we don't do it but there's a bunch of them and then you can do the research for yourself and a different platforms and incorporate the one that you like the one that we use is we use the quickbooks because we're using quickbooks online for invoicing and everything and then we send out the invoice to a customer through quickbooks directly and then they pay it but that can be incorporated 
incorporate the website too. On a commercial account, we just do most of the manually, but some of them are automatic. If you want me to put a video on how to set up automatic invoicing so you can set and forget, let me know. If you utilize another website to create websites, do let me know as well. And if you haven't watched this, then you want to watch this video because you don't want to miss it. Thank you for watching this. Keep on crashing and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.